Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to the Sunless Sea. Our fuel supplies dwindle, and we've made our way back, hopefully, to the shores of London. However, we'll need to be able to make dock to trade in the knowledge we've found, but a pair of auroral megalops have found themselves in our way. Maybe we'll be lucky and make it through without too much damage, but there's no guaranteed odds. Oof. That's four more damage we've taken since we've left home, but perhaps we'll be able to turn things around. However, the enemies are numerous and relentless. We'll take aim at them with our primary weapon here and see if we can't slow them down. No. Oh, lucky are we. We prevent them from hitting us just to the edge of our reach. Their charge comes short. And there lies another rural megalops lost to the waves. If this one is still reachable, which it is. We will butcher it for supplies. Fantastic. 36 hunger gone. That'll save us a good deal of supplies. And this one, we will dissect for knowledge. A straightforward challenge. We set to work with our knives and acids. It is an undistinguished adolescent specimen, a megalops, of one of the deep sea crab species. But its eyes, normal vestigial in these troglodytic beasts, are large and rather beautiful. The golden glow is almost gone now, although sparks leap now and then to our knife. We've gained a single fragment, and that is all we earn for our troubles. But it is now time for us to return to London, as our fuel stores have entirely burned out. That's not good now, is it? Thankfully, we are close to London, but we'll need to turn off our lights to make it back home safely. However, another Megalops attacks. We're going to initiate our emergency engine burning, which is not a safe tactic, but one which may bring us home. Luckily, we were able to make it out without either catching fire or being attacked, so it looks as though we may make it home this day. Our fuel is low, so we have options for desperate measures to get back home again, and we've been offered assistance from some pirates who will help us. However, we were able to make it home ourselves, and now... Oh, now, we have a variety of things under our belts. The lights of London welcome us home. We can collect messages from the harbor master. All the clatter and song of the dockside, it soothes the soul. There are indeed messages for us. Well, then, we have another day, a free evening at our time now. Something has changed somewhere in the sea, and someone wants to sign on with us. Very nice. Well, let's start off with this. Our father's bones. Ah. We need at least one echo. We should at least pay for the coffee. Well then. In that case, let us not go here. We'll go back to our lodgings, where we will read the morning papers to gather ourselves some more recent news. The Echo Bazaar. That enigmatic marketplace has increased its tax on love stories. The traitor empress has forbidden stringing, singing in the street outside her palace. The anarchists of the Calendar Council have inexplicably dynamited a drinking fountain. The Ministry of Public Decency has located and destroyed a nest of gallblighter wasps. We've lost a terror, and we've gathered a new piece of recent news. Well then, that's all we'll be able to do here, I imagine. So let us go back to London. In London, we have a variety of options, and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to hand in all of our port reports, because those should get us a good amount of cash and some more resources. The Admiralty's picket fleets and intelligence networks are long gone. We will trade in our port reports here. Guiders mourn. We have something to tell you about the pirate fleets of the forest. Yes, we do. Our visit has been confirmed by the Admiralty. They've given us a fuel, one Admiralty's favor, and 30 echoes for our trouble. I trust the sisters are keeping well. They are citizens of her enduring majesty, notionally. And indeed, this is now traded in as well, getting us another fuel, another favor, and five echoes. Apparently not as valuable a destination. We talk about Venderbite. What have the nearly dead been up to then? Well, we've gathered a fuel again, only ten echoes. But that'll do. We have information on Wither. We will give them that data. I refuse to ask any questions. I don't want to give them the satisfaction. But again, we gain a fuel and twenty echo, as well as more Admiralty's favor. 
We can talk about Station 3. Excuse me, uh, just let me call a colleague in... Omitted. This is my colleague, Mr. Villain, of the Ministry of Public Decency. Uh, Mr. Villain, this good captain's report is here, if you would care to... Ah, uh, yes, uh, the fire is already lit. Let us... Mm, there we go. Now only ashes remain, and it might have caused such a lot of trouble. Thank you, Captain. We appreciate your discretion. Here is your payment. You need not trouble yourself further in this affair. We've gained one more Admiralty's favor, another fuel, a hundred echo. And our port report for Station 3 is no more. Hmm. Well, let's talk about Abbey Rock, then. We categorize it as a military installation, you know, although that has occasioned some quite vigorous debate. That gets us another fuel, another 20 echoes. Very nice. We can talk about Frostfound. Is it as beautiful as they say? I doubt it. Poets are notorious liars. But liars make bad poets. A paradox, isn't it? Never mind. Your report. We gain another favor, another fuel, and another 30 echoes. Not bad. We can also give some information on Codex here. Exiled for giving answers? That's a wither for you. Anything new? No. We gain 20 echoes and a fuel, but not much else. We can talk about the Salt Lions. The bazaar has always taken an interest in that place. We gain another favor, 20 echoes, and a fuel. Very nice. And now we have some new options. Now we're able to talk with the dark spectacled friend himself. We can talk here about the Shepherd Isles and tell the peculiar tales as fact, but it's only an 18% chance of success, so we'll submit them as unsubstantiated hearsay. Friendly scoffing. I agree, it does seem implausible. So many of the stories from that place do. Still, there is a little gold of truth in the mud of rumor from time to time. Your payment, Captain. Well, there you go. We gain another fuel, another favor, and another ten echoes. However, we now have the ability to ask for particular tasks, so we're going to do that. The Admiral will see you now. So, we now have the ability to... Let us say discuss with the Admiral. We ask if there's anything in particular he needs, and he says that if he can be assured of our discretion, he tells us to go to Wither and speak with their agent there. That is quite a ways away, and we've already been there, so we might not go there right now, but he'll pay us 150 echoes if we do. So we may head there at some point. For now, though, I think not. However, we have a couple other interesting options. We can submit these revelatory charts to him, and we'll find out what they're worth. So we have two of them. Let's see what he says. Ooh. A careful inspection. He scrutinizes the chart minutely through a lens. He doesn't, we notice, remove the dark spectacles. It passes muster, he remarks. The usual fee applies. We've gained 250 echoes. That's quite a, quite a haul. And we can do it again. Let's submit another revelatory chart. This is what they're for. And again, it passes muster. We lose the chart, but we do gain another 250 echoes. We're starting to gain money quite quickly here, which could be quite useful to us. We have other options, but for the time being, this is what we have done here. So, it is time for us to now go see what's on with our father's bones. Mr. Huffam. He wants news to cover his costs and risks. Frankly, his price is not high, if the masters of, of the bazaar really are involved. But Huffam has a generous short soul. We should at least pay for the coffee. So, we will give him a Z story, we'll give him a memory of distant shores, and a tale of terror, all of which we only have one of, as well as a single echo. Let's see what the stories bring us. Another coffee in Caligula's. This time, Hotham is waiting in the shadowed nook by the kitchen, half hidden beneath a pile of manuscripts. Your father, he whispers, was surrendered to the postal service. Yes, yes, it's undignified. Although the postmen of London are, are honorable and tenacious, the package should have found its way back to the bazaar, but something went wrong. He leans forward. The package is in Nuncio. Nuncio? The island where postmen go when they have seen too much. The island of letters not only dead, but buried. Nuncio. The master's ally addressed the package, Huffam adds, to a Mr. Voluminous, but at the wrong door. He's already gathering his manuscripts to go. Good luck. And one piece of advice. Be courteous to the powers of the Z. You never know when you might benefit. And now we have to find Nuncio, somewhere in the central or eastern Untersee. 
We've lost our tale of terror, our memory of distant shores, and our Z story. And we're to seek a parcel with our name there. Well, that could be interesting. A secret indeed. Let's see what's going on in London itself. We now have access to the university, which might be able to acquire a variety of valuable goods for us. We also have a new recruit who awaits our attention. We can engage a genial magician. Hmm. We can engage a tireless mechanic. Very nice as well. We could also engage a regular sailor. Well, I'm tempted to engage a genial magician, because I've never seen them before. However, I have to admit that I quite like the fuel efficiency of the tireless mechanic. It's only a 5% increase, but I'm quite happy with that boost to our efficiency. Well, I will quite happily hire the tireless mechanic. Welcome aboard. Spot of rust. Spot of rust. Soon see to that. You there. Help me with this spot of rust. Indeed. Well, welcome aboard. We'll be able to hire more when we return to this place, but for now, that'll be all. However, we can go to our officers and take our chief engineer and apply him like so. Having a chief engineer gives us eight more veils and gives us a 5% eff fuel efficiency bonus, which is quite nice. Is there anything else we can do here? I'm not sure. We could visit the university, however. We can spend a secret to go in and find out what's in store. So we'll do that. The university has an inexhaustible appetite for secrets, sea specimens, and other tidbits of esoteric lore. We provide a secret to provide ourselves worthy of entry. Why not? We've gained one pages. Very well done. One page. Oh, yes. The university's maritime liaison whispers breathily. Oh, yes, this is quite a tasty one. Let me explain it to you. She or he explains with their teeth glinting. We're now a favors antiquarian. Hmm. We've lost a secret, but we've gained a page. The alarming scholar is mercurial, to say the least. A creature of sudden moves and provoking teeth. Possibly her, is it her? Appointment as university maritime liaison was precautionary to keep his. Is it his? razor-sharp enthusiasm from causing too many injuries in the faculty. Ah, yes, the scholar whispers breathily. I have a budget for acquisitions. What have you brought me? Well, we have a number of things we could trade in here if we so choose. We have an extraordinary implication. We also have two outlandish artifacts, and we have two lamentable relics. We could trade these in for currency and for knowledge, but for the time being, I think we'll hold on to them. They might be useful in the future, and we have enough echoes for now. So, perhaps not. We've gained entry, but for now we'll hold on to these things, because who knows what they might be useful for in the future. Out in the Great Z, people might want these things, and it might be good for us to have them on hand. What we will do, though, is we will go to some shops here and buy ourselves a few little things. Primarily, we're going to be buying ourselves some resources so that we can actually make this tr journey out and back. Buy ourselves up to 20 fuel so we can afford a longer voyage. And we'll buy ourselves a number of supplies as well. With the 534 echoes remaining to us, I believe we will invest in a more powerful weapon. There are a variety of options here, but we need to buy one that is specifically classified as a deck weapon. This, for example, being a forward weapon, we would not be able to mount. So, I believe the best weapon we'll be able to get our hands on is the Reproach here. This is a deck weapon of reasonable strength. It's not particularly powerful, but it's better than nothing. And it is the most powerful deck weapon they seem to sell here for any reasonable fee. So that may be what we wind up going for. There is also this one. The Denunciation, 12 hull damage, 12 life damage, a single crew damage, and 4 warm-up time, but if memory serves, it has exactly the same stats as this one. Even worse, this does more damage. So we'll buy the Cotterill and Hathersage Reproach as it is straight more damage than what we had previously. So let's buy one. Costs us some money, but nothing too unreasonable. We'll sell them our lead beater and stain rod, reconditioned frigate surplus deck gun mark two, because we won't need it. And we can go to our hold now and equip our new more powerful front weapon. That should make us significantly more dangerous at sea, which could be quite useful to us. Which is always good. Alright, so with that under our belts, is there anything else we'd like to buy here before we go out along our all on our journeys? 
Well, some of these supplies can be quite useful. We're going to buy a flare to hold on to for later, and we're going to buy a selection of Foxfire candles. These can be good for exploring dark places. So we're going to buy a few of them to bring with us. You never know when they'll come in handy. With that said, though, it's almost time for us to leave again, I believe. So, time for us to set sail. Out into the deep sea again. We're searching for Nuncio. And we're going to start by searching over in this direction. Out in the east. After which we may cycle, circle down to the south, but the east, central, Z is our current location to search, as that is where we have been told we may find Nuncio and more knowledge of what happened to our father. So out we go. It is a long journey that lies ahead of us, but hopefully a very profitable one. We will, of course, stop in briefly at some of these stations along the way as we explore, but for now, we head to Z. We have discovered Rowena's rocks, apparently. Ooh. More fragments for us, more secrets to gather. All of which is good, because that will allow us to boost our skills for the future. We are slow. A better engine might have been a good purchase to make, but for the time being, our currency would have been better spent elsewhere. We have a good deal of distance to travel before we even get to new lands, but as we sail, we should arrive there before too long. Our hull is still damaged, however, from previous engagements. Let's see if we can't kill this beast in a single blow. Not quite, unfortunately, but we may be able to take it down with a second before it can hit us. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, we have no hunger, having just eaten, so that's unfortunate. We will dissect this Megalops as well for knowledge. Same as previously, so no reason to read it again. Let us head out and see what else this deep, deep Z has in store for us. Sound the all's clear, hide our officers, and let us sail. Let us sail away. There are indeed horrors out here in the deeps, but it might take us some time to truly encounter them. If we're lucky, we won't encounter them at all. There are the three graves. Interesting. In a land where no one dies, graves are an unusual sight. We'll continue outwards, though, and see what else we can find. We've got a great deal of fuel to take us out into the unknown, and so, to the unknown we go. Senator Zebas, what does it discover for us? There is nothing close by. In that case, we explore. Why, hello there, little island. You look like a simple lump of rock, however. Nothing to help us on our journey. No, indeed. The world is webbed with invisible lines. We've crossed one. Tighten them, and it would split like a fruit. Yes, indeed. Invisible lines. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But there are certainly lines in the world map. We venture forth and hope for the best. On the surface, the sun still warms the earth. Or so one assumes. Zebat, tell me something of our surroundings. There are still no islands within the Zebat's range. Well, let us hope to make a discovery soon as we venture forth here. We burn through our fuel as we sail across the Z, searching for Nuncio. Postman's Island, or so we've been told. What else is there to find out here? The darkness is deep around us. Who knows what lurks beneath these waves? Z 
Z-Bat, tell us something. Ooh, a sea of lilies. Khan's glory is a long way to the southeast. That might be worth investigating. Going and seeing the Khanate now? It's not what we put to sea for, but if we can find anything of interest, it might be worth our time. We've discovered Leopard. What do you know? We've discovered the Khanate. That was much sooner than I would have guessed. Here's Khan's glory. The Abora Gate. All manner of great places. Well then. Alright, let us take to port here and see if maybe they will allow our presence. There is Tortoise, another small island in the area. Not much about aboard it, but we will see. The House of Ancestors, we've discovered Wolf. Many things lie here. Eagle discovered. Timon. Well, well, well. Let us put to dock here. Khan's glory. Here are the palaces of the Khan and his court, each a fortress to itself. Make a port report? We can, if we're lucky. Hmm. A very modest challenge, indeed. We could try to get some kind of contact here, but none of these people are interested in us. Well, perhaps not, then. It might not be worth taking damage simply to sail through here yet again. Let's head down further south. I am certain that if we explore further, we'll find somebody who will be willing to talk with us at least a little bit. Here's Khan's heart. Khan's gate, the Nephrite quarter. What more could lie out down here? In these much more populated waters. The Copper Quarter. Uh, here, here is a place we can land. Here may be a place where we can make deals with those we've found. Let us put to shore and see what is here. Khan's Heart. London's rival. Well, well, well. Look at all these things we can do. Some of which are quite dangerous. An almost impossible challenge. Seeking intelligence. Hmm. Gathering a port report could be quite dangerous. A tough challenge with less than a 50% chance of success. We can pay a storyteller. We could also purchase supplies at a ludicrous price. Purchase fuel at an outrageous price. Wander Khan's heart. Hire crew or spend time in a tea house. We can search a commercial license. Hmm. Well then. This sounds like an interesting place. An interesting place indeed. For now, I think we'll take the risk and try to generate a port report, and then head out on upon our way, as this is not currently our goal. Ah, we succeeded. What do you know? Rivalry between Leopard and Eagle clans, the concerns about Chelinate raids, some appalling gossip about the traitor Empress back in London. Perhaps we shouldn't write that last one down. And move on quickly. That fellow in the corner has an informer's look. Well, well. We have gained a port report for Khan's heart, and the white gold are watching us. Hmm. It's lucky that we passed our challenge, however, otherwise I'm sure something would have gone very wrong for us. Let's make our way out of here while we still can. We will leave this quarter for now, and perhaps learn more in the future. But for now, we look simply to escape. Escape alive. Head out under Ogadai's bridge and continue our search for Nuncio. Where would we find Nuncio? Well, it's hard for us to say. It could be anywhere near here, or nowhere near here at all. There are no islands within range, which means it could really be anywhere. We are searched the center. It means that the island is likely somewhere to the east, and nowhere nearby at all which could be a problem. We may not have enough fuel for such a grand voyage into the east. We will, however, search around, circle to the south, and see what we can find on our way back. Here we found the promised sea. All through this place, the song of the drownies, like shivering sweet along the wind. What 
do we see here then? Aha! Giant mushrooms. The Fathom King's Hold is a distance to the southeast. Let us make our way there and see what the Fathom King has in store for us. We search for our father, but along the way, we discover much, much more. Lorcan's port has been found. The kingdom of the Fathom King. Lorcan's port, named for that most enterprising of drownies. Phosphor cells burn green. Somewhere below, the king waits. Like an iceberg, like a bazaar master's scheme, like the Neath itself, most of the hold is invisible. We see only a tiny portion of sculpted coral. The rest waits below the surface. The Fathom King's bone rooms and aquaria, his pearl snares and his dining chambers. We could attempt to descend to an audience with the Fathom King, but we have no Z stories to appeal to him. However, at the very least, we can compile a port report here. Those granted audience return dazed, awestruck. The king is not generous, but occasionally he is fair. Well then, we have gained a port report of the Fathom King's Hold, at the very least. It is time for us to head out yet again. But where to? Where to indeed? The sea is vast, and these places are not all open to us yet. The Fathom King's Hold is close by to the northeast? You don't say... Here we are at the Fathom's King's Hold. There we go. Now we've got it to indicate. I think we'll head out in this direction slightly, and then we will return. We, we search for Nuncio. If we can be so lucky as to find it, we'll be in good way. That, however, is a nasty eel. Hopefully we can avoid fighting it. An albino moray eel with 210 health. Can we fight it? Almost certainly not. We'll need to hide and venture forth, hopefully unnoticed. Let us go. We head back the way we came, but we'll head out at an angle in the hopes of finding new things. We've burned through almost half of our supplies and our fuel already. It may not be prudent to go too much further, but... The sea awaits. We found Wanderer's Haven. Ooh. What do you know? A new location, comprised almost entirely old boats tied together. Khan's shadow. You don't say. However, uh-oh, let's get into port quickly here. That Khanate War Timuran is going to wreck us. So we'll just dock here for a second and then try to run away in a minute. That's not good. The city that swam. Long ago, the Khanate turned its back on its warrior traditions. We can't do much here either in this place for pirates and nomads, here in the shadow where the exiles make their home amid a hundred wrecked, grounded, and decommissioned ships. We compile a port report. So many malcontents, so little time. Conniving, debauching, speechifying, drinking, singing, speeching, poeting, now and then a drunken duel, very occasionally a savage ritual murder. Hmm. Not a pleasant place at all. However, it is time for us to flee. Luckily, we were at port, and that caused this guy to disengage with us, allowing us to make it away, potentially unharmed. The Trimorans of the Khanate. If we flee, we may yet get away with our lives. However, our fuel burns low. Should we run out before we uh, reach anywhere new, we could be in a great deal of trouble. And going around the long way around the the uh, Khan's shadow port here will certainly slow us down. Let us continue the search, though. Who knows what great treasures and adventures await us. Apparently, we've discovered the Isle of Cats. What a pleasant-sounding place. I'm sure there's nothing terrible here at all. And Port Cavendish has been discovered as well. The Reef of Roses lies a long way to the east. Interesting. We may go and investigate that one day as well. But for now, we will dock at the Isle of Cats.
However, before we can investigate this mysterious island, we're going to have to end this episode here for now. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some more of Sunless Sea for you. If you enjoyed today's episode, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Thank you again very much for watching. And for now, goodbye.